Prashadi and you are watching Rishraj Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss one interesting and important subject that is Kannada subject. We know that in each and every state, the state language is the compulsory subject in school. So here in Karnataka, Kannada language is the second language. Most of the students, they face problem in scoring good marks in this Kannada subject. So this video is going to be very helpful if you wish to score good marks in this subject. Here I will be discussing three important points. The first thing is how to score good marks in this subject. Means how to make yourself perfect in this subject. If you are perfect, obviously you are going to score good marks. Secondly, why the students score less marks? And there are a few students who also face failure in this subject. So what is the reason for this? And the third point is how to score best marks in this subject in your board exam or even supplementary exam. And lastly, those who expect only passing marks. So I'll be sharing few important points also for such students who wish to score only passing marks in this subject. So let's start with the first point. Before I start sharing these important points, I would like to thank our Kannada subject teacher that is Mrs. Sujata Mudgeka. Yes, she is the one who handled this subject at our institute. Whatever points I am going to share here in this video are suggested by her. All these important points, all these important tips are given by her. So let's start with this video. As I said, the first thing, how to score good marks in this subject. The most important thing is when this subject starts in school, right from the day one, right from the day when the vowels and consonants, when they are introduced, first thing you have to be perfect in this. Because we really find that the students even of some higher classes are very weak in reading. They can't even read the lesson from the textbook. They can't even read the answers what they have written in their book. And the reason is they are not perfect in the vowels and consonants. After vowels and consonants, the next thing comes is baldis. Yes, because these are the things which helps in the formation of the words. These are the things which helps in construction of the sentences. So, first thing is the child must be perfect in the vowels, consonant and baldis. Then and only then he will be able to read the lesson. Then second thing, only writing is not going to help. While writing, you have to understand even the meaning. Yes, you have to understand even the meaning of each and every word what you write. And even this point should be considered right from the beginning. Right from the first word which is introduced in your lower classes. Right from that time itself, you have to understand the meaning of each and every word what you are reading in your book. Because... If you understand the meaning of what you are reading, of what you are writing, this makes your study of that subject quite easier. And once you understand the meaning, there is no need to by heart the answers. Yes, if you understand the meaning of the question, you can easily write the answer even in your own words. So understanding the meaning is very important. Then one more point to get good marks is remember the keywords of some big answer, small answer. Just remember the keywords. Once you remember the keywords and if you are perfect in the meaning in this language, you can easily write the answers in your own words. So this was all about how to score good marks, how to make yourself perfect in this subject. Now in spite of this, why the student get less marks in this subject? Why students fail in this subject? So now let's discuss about this point. The very first reason of scoring less marks is the students are, we can say, under wrong impression or they have some wrong belief in their mind that this subject is quite difficult subject. Oh my God, Kannada subject. Oh my God, it's so difficult. So actually, this is the wrong belief. If you pay attention right from the beginning, it's not at all difficult subject. It's very easy subject and you can easily score good marks in this Kannada language. 
Then the second reason is most of the students they ignore this subject. They don't want to study regularly. They keep this subject aside. The other subject like English, Science, Maths, SST, they study. But this Kannada subject they ignore it. Chalo baad mein padenge. Or chalo, we'll see later. And they go for the last moment studies. Just before the exam, they sit with their Kannada subject fair book and they start their studies. First of all, they are under that wrong impression, wrong belief. Second thing, they ignore this subject. And last moment studies is never going to help you to score good marks. So these are a few, we can say some silly reason why the student get less marks. So as I discussed in our previous point, pay attention to this subject. Give importance to this subject right from the beginning, right from the standard first. Now, lastly, when the student come to standard 10th, they become very serious. Now they pay attention to all this subject. Here, they wish to score good marks. Now, if they wish to score good marks in this subject, what they are supposed to do? I always insist, study the paper pattern. Yes. I am always in favor of the question papers. Study the question paper pattern and then according to that plan your studies. This really helps. Question paper practice is the best practice for all the subjects. So even here, study the paper pattern. If you study the paper pattern, scoring good marks in this subject is not at all difficult. And as discussed earlier, pay attention right from day one, right from the day when your SSLC starts. Right from first day itself, keep this subject in your regular studies. Don't ignore it. Don't go for the last moment study. If you do this, definitely you will score good marks in your board exam. This year, in our institute, one girl, that is Vaishnavi Nikam Misa, she scored 100 out of 100 in Kannada subject. Very soon, we are going to meet her on this YouTube channel. So, if the student can score full marks, definitely it's not at all difficult to get good marks in this subject. In spite of all these things, the students, they fail in this subject. But there is a provision of supplementary exam and the students can easily pass in this supplementary exam too. So now, as I said, if your intention is to get good marks, you please pay attention to all the different type of questions go through the different question papers solve them and do your studies properly but if you wish to score only passing marks okay chalo i don't want to study more if i get pass passing marks it's more than enough i just want to pass in this subject so for this what you have to do there are questions at the end of each and every lesson each and every poem and if you make a set we have 40 to 45 one-line answers. One-line answers means it's very easy. You have to just write one word in that answer. Just one keyword. Now, if I ask, what is your name? My name is so-and-so. Means here you are answering only in one word. In the same way, you have to just fill that one keyword in that answer and you have to write the answer. So, like that, 40 to 45 questions are fixed. If you check the questions which are given at the end of the lesson, easily you will get that set and from this 12 questions are the sure questions in the exam means out of this 40 12 questions are asked so 12 marks you can easily score if you just study these simple questions second thing comes the grammar part now grammar part means like uh, choose the correct answer comprehension letter writing then some objectives so even this helps you to score marks there. Nearly 18 to 20 marks grammar is asked in the paper. So 12 marks question, 18 to 20 marks grammar. Apart from this, you can even buy her the poems. Poems also is going to give you marks because definitely they ask one or two poems in exam. Then one more part is, it's called Gade Matu. That is proverb. They give one proverb and you have to just explain it in your own words. Of course, in Kannada language, you have to explain that. So, just explain this proverb in few lines in your own words. Even 
this is going to give you marks so if you pay attention only to this few questions getting passing marks in kannada subject is not at all difficult so i think whatever doubts you have regarding this subject if you have any fear regarding this subject all this thing is clear it's not at all difficult to score good marks even in this subject so i request all the students please don't ignore any subject because if your intention is to score best marks in your final exam you have to give equal importance to all the subject and we cannot ignore the state language yes because it's compulsory subject in whichever state you go you have to study the state language so hope this video will definitely help you to get good marks and once again i would like to thank our teacher for uh, giving such important tips important points for our students lastly i would like to request all of you that please share this video to maximum number of students because this is definitely going to help you to score good marks in your this kannada language paper so please do share this video among maximum students and don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you will get the regular updates of such useful and important videos which we upload on our youtube channel that is ushuraj classes thank you so much for watching this video